The brand name apparel, luxury handbags, even gleaming Super Bowl rings. The stash is nothing short of eye popping. But wait, take a closer look. You could tell from the material, you could tell from the stitching inside. It's all fake. Further down the table, things turn darker, even deadly. You have all type of steroids on this particular part. And I mean, if you go on down, you have your marijuana seeds that are still coming in. You have your psychedelic mushrooms that are, are here. And you have your opium poppy. It's Operation Megaflex, an ongoing collaboration led by U.S. Customs and Border Protection, CBB for short, with the assistance of other federal agencies. Every shipment that comes into the United States through mail is examined in some way, shape, or form by CBP officers. One of the largest international inspection hubs sits next to Chicago's O'Hare Airport and takes mail directly as it enters the country. I mean, we have uh, passive radiation portal monitors that the shipments go through. Um, then we also have our canine enforcement officers that are working their dogs. Please. After that, they go through an x-ray machine where the officers get to look at what's inside the package and what they can see through the x-ray. Here's what a lot of people don't realize is they think ah, it's no big deal. It's, it's, a, it's a shirt, it's a pair of shoes, it's a bag. Mark Morgan heads up Customs and Border Protection and says Megaflex is needed now more than ever. The problem is, is that's devastating to U.S. businesses and U.S. importers who are trying to do it the right way and legal way. We're losing billions of dollars uh, every single year to this country because of counterfeit products. But really what we started to see in recent years is really an explosion of the e-commerce. And so because of that, uh, we, we knew that we had to, to have a concentrated effort to really focus on that. And I'll give you an example. You know, China alone, we receive 700,000 uh, either uh, uh, pieces of international mail and express consignment parcels every single day, and that's just from China. Canine officers are very busy. He is trained to detect seven different odors of narcotics. To do the dog's work, it might take about 10 people and him just with one. As you can see, he's scanning multiple, like hundreds of packages at a time in a short time frame. Every CBP officer we talked with told News Nation that law enforcement is more than just a paycheck. It's very important to get these off the street. We stop them before they get into the country. Um, they're all very addictive. The different chemicals, you never know what's in these chemicals coming from the other countries. The whole idea of getting into law enforcement, for me personally, was to stop drugs getting them onto the street, make it safer for our children. Mark Morgan says while much of the attention at Megaflex is on Chinese products, the problems extend way beyond China. China's not the only source country. Again, with the explosion of e-commerce across the globe, um, we're, we're having to focus not just on China, but everywhere. And I know in Chicago, you saw firsthand, that I believe that they were able to identify some and discover some contraband, some drugs uh, from the UK and in the Netherlands uh, was from another country. So we're we're, we're really seeing this from, from all over the globe. Nicole Burley, Please. News Nation.